Hey guys, I'm Shaft of the Clinic Casting Crew. Welcome to IEM 8 Cologne. We have an exciting best of five for you today. But before I introduce these players, I want to introduce my co caster. He's ZLC's Tyrannus. Here on the bottom left hand side of Frost Ladder Edition, representing Team Evil Geniuses in the Red Trunks, it's Jadong. And here on the top left hand side of that very same map in the blue Brotoss Trunk. Representing Team Liquid and Hyper X as well, it's Hero. So Carson, this is going to be a Zerg vs. Protoss Frost Ladder Edition, really big map. What are your expectations for this? Well, it looks like Hero's actually opening up at the 13 Forge first, which, and he's sending out two probes to scout, which leads me to believe he's actually attempting to cannon rush. Mm -hmm. Uh, but instead of actually going for a hatch first, like most Zergs do on this map against Protoss, uh, Jadong went for a pool first, so he'll more than likely be able to handle this with very little issue. So, now here is the hatchery. Do you think Hero is going to still attempt it? He looks... Oh, there it is. Yep. Is this uh, a yeah, good idea? He's actually, uh, I've actually never seen it done like this before. Uh... It's done, do, being done at the top of the ramp, so we'll have to see what Hero plans on doing. Because Jadon keeps pull, uh, is pulling the drones like he should, and Hero's trapping his probe. The cannon here is really nice because it gives uh, vantage over the not only the ramp, but I, I don't think it can actually reach that hatchery though. But with the pylon on the uh, actually the pylons don't go to the high ground anymore, so I'm not actually sure this will be successful whatsoever with the spine coming up. Yeah, that spiral is definitely going to make all the difference, but the creep doesn't quite reach. Uh, there is only one pylon left, and it's going to fall, so he's going to have to rebuild the pylons here. Aw, uh, and it's canceled. So, Hero lost a lot of resources there. He's 350 uh, resources lost uh, behind his opponent. Uh, Jadong's going to be able to just drone and get way ahead uh, off the back of this. How does Hero get back into this game? Yeah, Hero definitely did not come out ahead with there whatsoever. He had, he was forced to cancel all those buildings, and he lost mining time for two probes rather than one. The mm -hmm. only advantage he actually got was that the lost mining time, which is negligible, and the fact that he had to build three, or it made him build six Zerglings. Mm -hmm. In order, uh, as for getting back into the game, Hero's best bet will probably be to do some sort of two base all in that will try to punish any sort of greedy droning that Jadong does after holding off that cannon rush so successfully. So Jadong's got this overlord parked here in his opponent's natural. There's no cyber core even been thought about at this point. He's got free scouting information. How how important is something like this? The overlord positioning? Uh, it's really important actually because he can see not only it, uh, when his cybernetic score goes down, but what he's actually making out of the gateway. He knows that if it's a stalker, then Hero's going to have more gas towards uh, uh, more tech, but if it's a sentry, Hero's going to be playing a lot more safe, and his tech will be uh, more delayed, and it could open up things like gateway aggression. And even on top of that, he can also see the upgrade timing, so this is actually a really important overlord position. Now, this probe is maneuvering around the map. Looks like he's trying to find any place that he could lay a pylon down, but Jadong has got lings everywhere. Yeah, Jadong's uh, being really active with his ling scouting, make sure, making sure no pylons go down, and he's super duper safe so that no kind of way aggression catches like some sort of really fast four gate or something. Or another cannon rush. Well, it looks like we are seeing a Stargate coming out of this. Um, so, this is going to be Phoenix play, or is he going into Void Rays? Um, you know, that super Sky Toss play. Uh, I, my guess would actually be Phoenix, um, because Oracles would not be that good at this stage of the game, because the only time Oracles are really ever used against Zerg is when you have some sort of Zealot help with like a 4-gate Oracle, like a fast Oracle. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Void Rays are really only good if you, on this map, if you put down like an extra Stargate and start going uh, Void Ray Sentry Charge Lot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it looks like he's actually going to be making a Phoenix out here. Uh, we'll see if he stops at one like some Protoss players do, or if he actually goes up to 4 or 5. All right, and here's actually the Robo, so he's only going to go up to four or five. He uh, wants to immediately transition into either Immortals or Colossi. Colossi kind of being what I'm leaning towards. Um, hopefully going to bait out 
too many hydralisks as a response to the Phoenix or, you know, something that's really, really uh, weak against Colossi. Yeah, he might actually get, uh, like, a safety immortal in his transition into Colossus because, especially when he started out in such a poor position, he should be afraid of some sort of roach timing that could be coming when he tries to Eleven roaches on the way. <laughs> So it looks like you called it right there perfectly, Roach Timing, definitely an option. And Hero really cannot even think about a third base here. His opponent been on third base for quite some time, and uh, we'll probably be taking a fourth shortly. Yeah, what's really interesting here from Jadong is that he's actually, ma he made all these Roaches and Zerglings before even starting his lair. He's only on 49 drones, and his lair just started around the 9 minute mark. Mm -hmm. So he must have seen, he saw the fast tech, and he saw the... Uh, lack of centuries so he's he's thinking to himself that he can probably punish some sort of greedy play out of hero if he tries to take a fast third or if he's just not if he doesn't hit the right force fields all right well here come the roach wing attack it looks like roaches are swinging in here trying to take a foot on cannon out good force field gonna keep the wings out of the base he's gonna block it off with a couple of pylons here void rate in production void rate is gonna be great against the uh roaches but the forge does go down so no more cannons are an option here and it looks like the roaches and the wings are gonna break through the front but some good force fields going down the immortal is here at this point void ray coming in as well nice lifts that is gonna force jadon back what is the overall assessment of that battle, Tyrannus? Um, that actually went pretty poor for Jadong. The only, uh, I would still say he's in a pretty good position right now, con considering behind that attack, he droned up to 70, and he should be looking to take his fourth base soon. The cons, however, are that he lost way more. The resources lost 1,380 to 1,060, and his tech and his upgrades are much farther behind than where they should be. Gotcha. The Hydrogen is going to be finishing now. We've got the first upgrade coming out for Jadong. It's going to be plus one missile attacks. Uh, so he's going to be uh, staying really heavy on that Roach Hydra style. A lot of players favoring Swarm Host against this heavy Stargate play, but Jadong not going for that. Why is he electing to do Roach Hydra as opposed to Swarm Hosts? Um, it, could, it could be a stylistic thing. Uh, he doesn't enjoy playing Swarm Hosts, or it could be the fact that his creep spread is actually not like that good for swarm hosts especially on this map you need that extra creep spread because it is so big in order to keep your Pro protoss opponent on three bases and give you the entire rest of the map to yourself otherwise the protoss will be able to expand and they will be able to harass you very easily all right well we did have a minor engagement there the mothership core nearly falling to some queen and hydra sport but the void rays are doing some uh pretty good damage you got uh, three or four uh, worker kills there. Um, but even with all that uh, little bit of harassment, uh, we've got the upgrades coming for Jadong now. Jadong about to hit a pretty heavy timing attack as well, uh, harassing the, this third base with some roaches, trying to stop the cannons from getting up. The Zealot's doing a good job defending this, but the cannon does fall, and we've got a lot more units coming in now for Jadong. These Hydras are going to be uh, able to make short work of most of the composition parked here to defend this. Otherwise, he's just going to tear down these gateways so he can get deeper in here with the Nexus. And here come the Hydras. Hydras are going to be force fielding. He picks off two Hydras with two force fields. Two more force fields trying to defend this ramp. But Jadon going to be able to come over here and put pressure on the Nexus. If you want to waste my time using force fields, he's just going to go attack the Nexus. Colossi are here. Hydras falling pretty quickly, but there is no external thermal lance just yet. Uh, Jadon not trading very efficiently but any trades at all are going to be working to his advantage as this fire finishes up because any protoss stuff that falls is going to be stuff that can't attack those mutalisks yeah the hero actually had some really nice force fields in that corner trapping a bunch of those lings and having that colossus pop out just in the nick of time uh that hydra push uh it was a very jade on yes thing to do with the spot coming out behind it and looking to push into uh, go into mutalisks. The only problem right now, however, is that there's still four Phoenix on the map. He just lost 15 Hydras and about 20 Zerglings for not really anything besides like a gateway and a few centuries. So, like, he hasn't been trading very cost efficiently at all this game, and that's one of the ways that Hero can come. Right. From now he does have a early on. He does have a fourth base. Um, so he's up a base. He could probably take a, a, a fifth base at any point. He's got roaches. He's got corruptors on the way. He's got all the tech he would want. And he's getting worlds and worlds ahead on the economy. So would you say that continuing to trade is a mistake? 
because he is so far ahead? Or uh, would you say that uh, these roaches need to stay back and be more defensive? Well, when you're ahead economically, you should be trading uh, as much as possible. The only problem in this situation is that he hasn't been trading effectively whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But with a roach, with these corruptors out, but he should be able to take out the majority of heroes' important units like the Colossi, and the corruption also helps a great deal against those immortals. And Ooh, nice roach hug on those immortals. The corruptors taking out some of these void rays. He's got corruption laid down on the void rays as well. He is doing a world of hurt with these roaches. Roaches, of course, not going to be that great against the air units, so he is attacking the natural while at the same time engaging some of the roaches and most of those corruptors on the important units of Liquid Hero. Liquid Hero losing another uh, Colossi there. With all the Colossi down, the Hydras are going to be able to flood in. Roaches, Lings, oh, nice round with a bunch of units there, and that looks like it's going to be it for Hero. There's the GG, Carson. Yeah, that was a very, uh, that was a very smart timing. He recognized hey hero only has one colossus out at this point he's just trying to secure his third base and he's only got one immortal so if i make corruptors instead of mutalists and i go in with a bunch of roaches why shouldn't i be able to take him out you know? yeah exactly dude that was an excellent play by jadong he is the tyrant of zerg well-earned nickname the koreans had it perfect when they named them that. Liquid Hero, a very strong player. This is a best of five. So going into the next map, uh, which, correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, um, I believe that was, what, Heavy Rain? I, I don't remember. We'll get a uh, word uh, from Scott in just a moment. But uh, this is a best of five. Going into the next match, what is Hero's thought process? Uh, Hero's thought process should be uh, not to do something like he did before, and that Hero or J Dog will most likely play uh, pretty safe again. Uh, if I was Hero going in, I would think um, of playing as safe as possible and just doing my strongest build because you don't want to be down. Yeah, you don't want to be down 0-2 in a best of five series with only one game left. So he'll probably do anything he can to take this next time. All right, well, I can't wait to see what he's got planned. Guys, if you like this first game, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, tune into the rest of the video. I promise you it is an excellent series. Uh, I am definitely well known for producing some quality games. Um, but again, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's at the only shaft. Where can they uh, get information on you, uh, Tyrannus? Uh, I'm actually not on Twitter. Or I don't I, I don't use Twitter at all, so you can just follow me at my stream uh, at or Tyrannus96, not at Tyrannus96. Mm -hmm. yeah, Tyrannus yeah. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, we will be moving on to game number two, guys. Uh, see you there.